Hi guys, my name's Mel Chadwick. I'm a freelance illustrator. Welcome to Weekend's Workshop. In today's workshop, we will be screen printing a design that you will be able to print onto fabric. We'll be using screen drawing fluid to draw your design onto a screen, covering with screen filler, and then we will print directly onto our fabric. I will be using a cotton tote bag and I'll be printing the design straight onto the fabric. This is an easy screen printing method, especially if you don't have access to a computer or have access to a screen printing studio. You'll be able to create this screen right in your home and the whole process should take a few hours. So I'll be guiding you step by step. If you have any questions, just drop them below and I will get back to you. So take time to explore this medium, enjoy the process, have fun and make some art. I think you're going to enjoy this workshop, especially when you see your design transfer to fabric. So let's get going. So this workshop is split into five parts. The first part is our design. So for the first step, we will need a notebook and pen, a pencil, paper to draw our design on, a blank screen, I'm using A3 size, and a cotton tote bag. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your design will fit onto what you're going to be printing on. As you can see, I'm just taking my piece of paper and lining it up on the bag so I know that my design will fit the bag shape. You'll then need to take your notebook and sketch your design. Maybe you have something in mind that you would like to print. I am doing a flower design with some lettering underneath. Once I've drawn my design and I'm happy with it, I will then start to enlarge it so that it will fit the piece of paper and that will then fit onto my bag. If you feel like you need to practice making your design larger, have some scrap paper that you can do that on. So the next step is to draw up your design on the piece of paper. Don't worry about getting it too precise, it just needs to be able to fit on the piece of paper as well as inside the frame. The next step is to place your screen on top of your design and then you're going to trace over the design with your pencil straight onto the screen. Again, don't worry too much if you make a mistake as you can easily correct that at this stage. Part two, making the screen. You will need drawing fluid, screen filler, an old spoon, a small paintbrush, some washi tape, a squeegee, pastel tape, and of course your screen. Use the washi tape rolls to raise the screen above the table. Next thing you're gonna do is transfer your design to your screen. This is quite simple, all you do is use your paintbrush and dip into the drawing fluid and paint over the lines that you have traced. Take your time and if you do make a mistake, you can use some water just to wash out the screen. Obviously, if you make quite a big mistake and you wanna start again, it's very easy just to wash the entire screen out 
just make sure that the screen is completely dry before you start again. Once you've finished painting the screen, put it to one side and let it dry. To prepare our screen, we need to add pastel tape. So make sure your screen is, is turned upside down. And then you're gonna put pastel tape on all four sides of the screen. So the next part is to add the screen filler to your screen. Make sure that you mix your screen filler really well. However, do not shake it because otherwise you'll end up with air bubbles in the liquid. Once the solution is a deep dark red, spoon the liquid onto the top of the screen. You're going to use your squeegee Lift up your screen and do a nice firm stroke downwards so that you coat the entire screen with the red solution. You only need to do this once and then you're going to let the screen dry. Part three, you'll need access to a large sink, a shower or a bath where you can wash out your screen. So once your screen is dry, it's time to take your screen over to where you're gonna wash it out. And I'm making sure that the temperature is at the coldest setting. If it is hot, it will just wash out the entire screen filler. Also turn your shower to a more concentrated water flow and wash out the screen. This may take between three to five minutes to do. If you have some stubborn drawing fluid, then I would advise you just use a small brush to clean out those areas. And again, leave the screen to dry fully. You could leave it next to your radiator or even give it a dry with the hairdryer. Part four, printing. You'll need some fabric printing ink, a squeegee, a spatula, some newspaper, your cotton tote bag, and your screen, which has your design on. So now once your screen is completely dry, you are ready to print. You're going to then line the inside of your bag with a piece of paper. This is to protect the inside so that the ink doesn't transfer to the other side of the fabric. You can use the washi tape to mark the position of your tote bag. This is really only necessary when you need to print more than one tote bag. You're now going to be taking the ink that you're printing with, using your spatula, make a slug of ink at the top of your screen. Make sure it's nice and thick so that when you come to printing the ink, it covers the entire of the design. So the first bit we're gonna do is flood the screen. So lift the screen up so that it's not touching your bag beneath and you're going to flood the entire screen with ink. Now go back up to the top, make sure that the screen is now resting onto the fabric and you're going to pull nice and firmly down at 45 degree angle, pushing the ink through your screen and onto your fabric. You may need to do this twice just to make sure that all the ink has squeezed through the design. Now it's time for the reveal. Carefully pick up your screen and you should hopefully see your design now transferred onto the fabric below. If you have any more bags or t-shirts that you want to print, now would be the time to do it. Put your bag in a safe place and let it dry completely. Part 5. Heat setting. In this final section, you will just need to have an iron and an ironing board 
along with the tea towel. So just use a tea towel to cover the design, iron over for about a minute and then turn over your design and, your and it will be okay to iron the other side for another minute. Your item now is ready to wear and use as you want. If you've enjoyed this session, don't forget to leave a comment or hit that like button. So I hope you enjoyed this workshop guys. I would love to see what you've created. Remember to tag your work, weekend workshop with Mel. If this is the first time you are joining me for a weekend workshop, don't forget to check out the other workshops that I've already done and they'll be listed below. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.